Hey, fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Um, I wanted to start off by uh, thanking everybody for adding their comments over the past two weeks. It's been awesome to see, you know, what what kind of progress you guys are making and the things that you're going with. I am reading absolutely every single one of those and uh, responding. So thank you very much. Continue to uh, to share stuff and, and let me know what you're going through, uh, how your journey's going. Uh, I'm really grateful for that. And, you know, I, I care about every uh, every one of those people that uh, are, are commenting and, and uh, you know, it's it's deeply important to me. So it, it lets me know that that what we're doing here is working and it's helping. So thank you very much. Uh, today's video is going to be about masculinity, which is one of the three areas of the main core that uh, we focus on here. And uh, I wanted to, you know, kind of point back to the video that I had posted a couple of days ago about tribes and communities for men. Uh, that's going to be the theme here. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about kind of the, the last three days that I've had actually since the uh, the posting of that video, because it's very relevant. And, you know, to be totally honest with you, I, uh, I've had a shit week and, you know, I broke down a couple of times and it's been super tough and it's been like an emotional, I felt like just an emotional basket case. Didn't know what the hell or what the fuck was going wrong with me, but, you know, I had some great support. And, you know, I, I was able to work through them and I've came out on the other side and, you know, I want to be able to share this story with you guys so that way you can learn from me and know how to avoid the pitfalls that, uh, that I fell into. And, um, so that way, you know, this is really to, to make us all better, but learn from me and, and, uh, you know, avoid the things that, that I've done. So, you know, my definition, and I think most people's definition of masculinity has always been, you know, very stoic, very, um, you know, unflappable, very militant, um, emotionless, you know, very flatlined. And there is a, there is a lot of uh, benefits to having, you know, emotional intelligence. That's why I posted a video about it and to be able to maintain it and to uh, be calm when you're, when you're upset and to process through them. You don't get to that point by consistently being very, you know, hard edge, stoic and, um, you know, a hard nosed asshole all the time. You know, there's a time and a place for that. And, you know, I think most people, not unlike myself, we think that that's the definition of what masculinity should be, it should be tough all the time. And it should be, uh, you know, without fault and it should be strength and, and, you know, dominance and no feelings and all that stuff. You know, I think we all experience trauma and we all experience negative emotions and, and things in life that affect us. I mean, it's just how it, that's just how things are. And without a way to be able to process through and work through them, you know, that stuff gets locked in your nervous system and you don't really understand how it can come out. It, it, you know, it happens in a number of ways, whether it's addictions or, or whatever. Mine is, was that, you know, I repress it. I don't deal with it. I jam it in, I pack it in, pack it in. And then, you know, one, uh, one day, and it's what happened this week, uh, you know, it all overflows and you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know the source of it. You don't know the root of it. You just know that you're upset. And uh, so more specifically, what was going on is I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday night, you know, I had a kind of a shitty day at work on, on Tuesday and I felt very defeated and just deflated and, uh, you know, I couldn't figure out what was going wrong with me. So, you know, I called my pop and talked to him. I talked to my mom and I talked to my brother and, you know, they were incredible support systems, but, you know, I wasn't looking for any kind of like quick fix or, you know, I wasn't looking for anybody to fix my problem. The, you know, the truth is, is that, um, you know, I just wasn't dealing with the other side of who I am as a man. And it's more of that softer side. I'm just always giving that, you know, oh, you can't hurt me. I'm strong. Um, 
kind of a little bit more, I think you're erring on the side of ego and you know, you're, you're not really balanced at all. So I was repressing a lot of that stuff and all of a sudden it just boiled over. And I'll be honest, I was like, you know, I was kind of crying pretty much for, you know, the better part of two days. Um, and it wasn't comfortable, but I know that now I need to work through that stuff and you have to feel it to heal it. There, there's, there's a time and a place when a man should be able to, to deal with those emotions and, and needs to work through them because without doing that, again, you know, those things have, have a way of finding a way to chant or to like come out of you in a very negative way. So where I think that they should be able and where I think is most conducive for them to do that is in the tribes that I talked about um, a few days ago. But, you know, the the next day when I went back into work, I had a, a, um, a meeting with my manager. And, you know, at that point, I was still like really in the middle of it. You know, where am I going? Who am I? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Like all this shit was just coming out. And I didn't know where it was coming from and or when it would stop. So it was like really fucking scary. And, uh, you know, I went into work the next morning and I, I was talking to my manager and, you know, I always have the choice. So all the reasons why I was upset, all the reasons why I was sad or pissed off or, or mad or, you know, grieving, whatever, all, all of them, absolutely every single one of them were a result of a choice that I made somewhere along. And whether that was the job that I chose, the role that I chose, you know, um, the the path that I chose, the time that I was getting there, the commute, um, my attitude, my outlook, my activities, my production, like all of it. I was consistently and have been for the last six months consistently making a choice to to just have a shitty attitude about it. And I always have the choice. You know, you always have a choice to be able to handle how things affect you. You always have a choice about how you, how long you let it stew, how long you deal with it, what, what you do with it. And I was consistently choosing it the, the wrong way. And admittedly, it was, it was a huge mistake and, you know, I'm okay with it. I've gotten through it, but you know, the moral here is that I was always just giving this like real strong facet, right? So like this real strong brick wall, you can't hurt me. And I, I wasn't exercising the other side of who, who I really am and, and the, the healthy side of, of having both. Men and the most healthiest of men, they know when they, they need to vacillate between being strong and, and being sensitive or softer. It doesn't mean that you're a giant pussy. It just means that you have a, a really good understanding of who you are and when you need to be strong, when you need to be sensitive or soft. Uh, that's That flies in the face of so many people's opinions or what they think masculinity is. You know, if I need to be strong for my wife, if I need to be strong for my brother, if I need to be strong for my kids, if I need to be strong for myself, it all starts with me. Um, I can, you know, I can do that. And, you know, I have the ability to show up and do that. I can choose to do that. And if I also need to be empathetic, if I also need to be understanding, if I also need to have compassion, I need to know when that is, is the right time. You need to have both. I think that's what makes people, you know, they're, People are attracted to your rough edges. And when you're just always holding a wall up, when, when you're not exposing that stuff because you're too strong and, you know, your ego can't take it basically, um, you know, that stuff's, you got to deal with that. And I think real men, they understand that you have to have both. It's okay for you to, to be able to, to work through, to, to kind of get emotional, like, no one can be 24 seven militant, like just, you know, hard nosed asshole all the time. Not only is that boring, but like people are drawn to your, your rough edges because they can relate to it. It makes you human. Um, to give you a couple of examples. So a few of the athletes that, that I've always looked up to and, and that I really appreciate and enjoy, I think we all do. Um, 
one of them is 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 somebody that I think really draws people in, and it's because of the of the duality, if you will, of of what we remember him for, and when you watch an interview or when you see him in a documentary or somewhere, it, he has very polarizing um, sides to him, and it's Mike Tyson. Now, say what you will about him, but. You know, when I was growing up, he was like an absolute fierce animal. Like he was just untouchable. You know, he his pay-per-view fights were 10, 11 seconds. And he was only like 19, 20 years old, top of the world heavyweight champ. You know, and he came from just piss poor upbringing. Like, you know, doing drugs at 10 or 11 years old. The podcast that was on, uh, he was on Rogan's podcast this week. And I recommend you guys check it out. But what makes him so what people are so fascinated by, by him is because that's what they remember. That's what I remember is that he was like just vicious, like an animal man. And when you watch the interview and you'll, you'll pick up on it if you've never seen this before. Um, when you watch him being interviewed, he's like just super calm and he's got like this heart of gold. And that's, it's that, that I think not only makes him complete, makes him more of a man, but it also, that's what makes people like really drawn to him. Um, if you're, if you're all nice all the time and you're all soft all the time, or if you're always an asshole and you're just, you know, all up your ass all the time, all tough, well, that's just, that's very one-sided and, and you're, um, you're not really appealing. That's just is boring in my opinion. Um, take it for what it's worth, but in my experience, it's been that when people have both, when you exercise both, not only is that healthy for a man, but it also helps you relate to people. If you can work inside and outside of, you know, being strong and being and being soft, you know, not only can you have compassion and relate to people, but you're also way more approachable. Uh, that just is an understanding of who you are. You know, there was a few times earlier this week when I really felt like I was sitting at my desk at work and I was going to start crying. And most of the time, you know, you just bolt like, okay, I'm going to go deal with this. I need to get out. And if it would have happened, I was honestly just going to sit there and just be present with it because, you know, you have to get to a place where it doesn't really matter what people say about, you know, you and their perceptions of, you know, how strong or how soft you are. You shouldn't have to give a shit about that. And when, when a guy especially uh, is able to, be strong and to go after what he wants and to um, protect, provide. But he's also able to, you know, be okay and be present with his emotions when we all are dealing with tough shit. When he's okay with, you know, whatever judgment and perception and condemnation comes his way. That's what's, that to me is like the, the ideal, most balanced man. You know, you're just, you're living you as best you can and you're doing it you know in a way that shows people that you're really relatable and very transparent so i'm doing my best to exercise you know both sides to be able to know when to turn it on and to turn it off and that is different than what i have always known masculinity to be so you know man is both and I think a good man knows how to do both. Um, it was a it was a tough week, and I've learned a lot. And you know, I've certainly been you know trying to give advice here, and uh, you know, the advice still applies to me too. I'm I'm still learning. Um, I'm I'm failing all the time. But you know, if you're watching this and it's something that that can help you, know that it's okay to work to that other side and let people see that. I think you'll be shocked by how much people actually respond in a positive way and how much lighter, more open and free you feel when you get to that place of being able to be both sides. If you're able to be the man indoors, I live by myself and I'm, I want to be the type of guy that is the same guy indoors as I would be at work, at the mall with my family. If you're the same guy in private as you are in public, who can hurt you? There's nothing that you need to run away from, hide from. There's nothing that you need to fear because, again, you've worked both sides. And, and I think 
when you do that, you're just, you're just free. Like you're just open, free and lighter. So that's really, you know, something that I've learned this week. And I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think about what modern masculinity is and what it means to you, what you guys are working on. Um, again, please uh, continue to share your comments. If you are somebody who has been getting some value from this channel, I would appreciate it if you would share this with uh, your brother or your friends or, or friends and family, anybody out there who you think would, uh, would also benefit from the channel. Um, you know, we want to build community here and I'd be grateful if you would share the content that, uh, that you're receiving and learning from with, um, with the people that you know, so that we can all, we can all be in this together. But, um, yeah, if you are going through any kind of a challenge or you need some help advice, uh, you can send those comments, those challenges, and any of your feedback about the channel to my email at themancoreproject at gmail.com. Again, I'm super grateful that uh, you were able to join us today. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on the next video here at the Vancore. All right, fellas. Take care.